Welcome to the Biotech Whisperer channel. Our topic today is on the Resolution Revolution, Illuminating Cryo-EM Studies. If you are new here, we are a group of retired professors sharing our knowledge in bite-sized videos. Do subscribe and follow our channel for more updates. Let's dive into the topic for today. The usage of electron microscopes, or EM, which use a stream of accelerated electrons to illuminate a target, provides a better resolution than a light microscope. It is used in biomedical research to investigate the detailed structure of tissues, cells, organelles, and macromolecular complexes. The high resolution of EM images results from the use of electrons, which have very short wavelengths, as the source of illuminating radiation. Electron microscopy is used in conjunction with a variety of ancillary techniques, e.g. thin sectioning, immunolabeling, negative staining, to answer specific questions. EM images provide key information on the structural basis of cell function and of cell disease. Cryo-electron microscopy adds the aspect of supercold temperatures, making it particularly effective for near-atomic structural resolution of bigger proteins, membrane proteins, or lipid-containing samples such as membrane-bound receptors, as well as complexes of multiple biomolecules. It is now possible to review mechanistic details at near-atomic resolution of new protein machineries, key for understanding how living organisms function. Over the last decade, new electron detectors have resulted in a significant increase in resolution for cryo-electron microscopy over conventional electron microscopy. For instance, single-particle electron cryomicroscopy, cryo-EM, has undergone a resolution revolution that makes it possible to characterize megadalton, or MDA, complexes at atomic resolution without crystals. Macromolecular assemblies are often unstable, and invasive construct design or inadequate purification conditions and sample preparation methods can result in disassembly or denaturation. To fully exploit the new opportunities in molecular microscopy, new procedures for the cloning, expression and purification of macromolecular complexes need to be explored. A game-changing technique for imaging molecules, known as cryo-electron microscopy, has produced its sharpest pictures yet, and, for the first time, discern individual atoms in a protein. By achieving atomic resolution using cryogenic electron microscopy, cryo-EM, researchers will be able to understand, in unprecedented detail, the workings of proteins that cannot easily be examined by other imaging techniques such as X-ray crystallography. The following are key components of the so-called resolution revolution in cryo-electron microscopy. Freezing aqueous samples in liquid ethane that has been cooled to below minus 256 degrees Fahrenheit. Water freezes to a window-like vitreous ice instead of ice crystals, which damage samples and disperse the electron beam. To avoid protein damage, the material is held at supercold temperatures in the microscope, and a low dose of electrons is employed. High-speed direct electron detectors can count individual atoms at hundreds of frames per second, allowing sample movement to be adjusted in real time. Advanced computing combines dozens of images to create high-resolution three-dimensional structures. Terabytes of data are processed by graphics processing units. A three-dimensional tomography image can be created by tilting the microscope stage that is holding the sample as photos are captured. Sample preparation is still an important limiting factor in achieving high-resolution structures using cryo-EM. Membrane complexes are among the specimens that benefited the most from the new advances in cryo-EM as they meet the requirements for which cryo-EM is best suited. Membrane complexes are normally difficult to prepare in large quantities and to isolate in their intact form because detergents have to be used. 
Transmembrane proteins account for less than 3% of the total atomic structures deposited at the protein data bank, while being more than 60% of the current drug targets. The tendency in the field is that data processing becomes less user-dependent and can be performed in a more automatic way. In reality, different datasets present different limitations, and therefore diverse data processing strategies are of utmost importance to get as much structural information as possible from a given dataset. Perspectives on the road ahead, cryoelectron microscopy, or cryo-EM, has superseded X-ray crystallography and NMR to emerge as a popular and effective tool for structure determination in recent times. It has become indispensable for the characterization of large macromolecular assemblies, membrane proteins, or samples that are limited, conformationally heterogeneous, and recalcitrant to crystallization. Besides, it is the only tool capable of elucidating high-resolution structures of macromolecules and biological assemblies in situ. As a state-of-the-art electron microscope operable at cryotemperature, which helps preserve high-resolution details of the biological sample, it enables the structures can be determined, either in isolation, via single particle analysis, or SPA, or helical reconstruction, electron diffraction, or ADE, or within the cellular environment, via cryoelectron tomography, cryo-ET. All the three streams of SPA, ED, and cryo-ET, along with subtomogram averaging, have undergone significant advancements in recent times. This has resulted in breaking the boundaries with respect to both the size of the macromolecules assemblies whose structures could be determined along with the visualization of atomic details at resolutions unprecedented for cryo-EM. In addition, the collection of larger datasets combined with the ability to sort and process multiple conformational states from the same sample are providing the much-needed link between the protein structures and their functions. In overview, these developments are helping scientists decipher the molecular mechanism of critical cellular processes, solve structures of macromolecules that were challenging targets for structure determination until now, propelling forward the fields of biology and biomedicine.